Hey everybody, I'm super excited because today we're launching our Easter collection and I cannot wait to share all the cute items with you. Um, so anyway, just like every other video that we've done, I'm going to start with the new stuff and then I'm going to show you some of the um, inventory that we have on the site that would also work really well within this collection. So I'm going to jump right in because there's a lot here and it's super exciting uh, to show it all off. So I'm going to start with um, some Easter cards. These are by The Humble Crafter. They're beautiful. The pictures just do not do them justice. Um, so they are um, cross-stitch cards. So what I love about these is that you could frame them and put them in your Easter um, like decorations for every year. So they're gonna get a lot of wear out of them. They're $9 each and they're just beautiful. So this one um, says Easter on it. And then we got a bunny that says Happy Easter. Um, so I'm hoping all the lockdowns will be less extreme come Easter, but uh, there's still a lot of family that we're not planning on seeing. Um, so this is a great way to kind of let them know that you're still thinking of them. So again, Happy Easter. We've got a cute little chick here. Another little one with Happy Easter. I love the little hat. Um, and a bunny that says Easter. And a little berry that says Happy Easter. And another Happy Easter. So lots here for you to choose for. Happy Easter. Um, so they're sure to find one. As I said, these are just so beautiful. So Easter love. And then um, last one there is Happy Easter. So yeah, so these are $9. And they do count towards our um, buy 10, get one free. So they're really, uh, really great because they can be framed on the wall and get lots of wear. So uh, then I have these really cute hot and cold cups. Um, if you've been following us for a little while, you know that uh, we've had a few different varieties come through, uh, but these ones are for Easter. So they're meant for hot. The cups change color uh, depending on the um, liquid uh, in them. They have the nice like uh, tops um, of the coffee mugs. So these would be really fun to pair with. Um, I know we don't sell them, but you can get so many of those beautiful hot chocolate bombs. So you could do this with a hot chocolate bomb and give it to the kids. Uh, and they're super cute. Um, so yeah, or you could fill these with candy. So if you're a grandmother and you're not gonna maybe see your grandkids this Easter, um, you could put uh, one of these and fill it with candy and then drop it off at their house party Easter. So really cute. Um, I only have two, but um, if you need more, you can always get in touch and we can see about uh, getting some more. Um, so that was from H&M Design. Another um, item from H&M Design, which I'm really, really excited about, um, is this a DIY kit. So my kids love to get creative and I'm always constantly trying to find things to do. So these kits make two little cute little bunnies. And I don't know um, if you saw our DIY cards uh, kit that went uh, live, I think it was last week or a couple weeks ago. Um, what I'm going to be doing with these is we're going to be doing um, an event where you can get creative with me. I'm going to set up a Facebook room and we can make these kits at the same time. Um, so if you are buying one of the kits, I will note that the paint um, needs time to dry. So uh, if you are going to join us, make sure that you start um, your project the night before. Um, there'll be some instructions and I'll send some reminders, um, but it kind of, so that the stuff has time to dry before you attend the class if you're wanting to finish it. Um, otherwise, uh, you'll need to um, finish it later um, if you want it to look pristine. So I should say, I shouldn't use the word class because all of the instructions are in here. So this event is not about us teaching you how to make it. Um, I mean, we can probably answer simple questions, but it's more about building a community and getting together to make these um, together. Um, so yeah, so uh, it comes with all of the instructions, paintbrush, all the supplies you need uh, to make the two, um, the two colors. Uh, so the actual event there'll be limited spots for and if you want to make sure that you come i think you have about two weeks before uh to guarantee that you're going to get the kit and i think it's the 28th of march uh that we're doing a little get together uh, online at three o'clock if you want to join us or of course just make the items on your own um at any time uh so the last i'm just making sure the last new item that i have uh, today is um one that I'm really excited about um, is it's launching a new program uh, that we're putting together for Theobel. So I'm still working on the website uh, part of it. So if you go online looking for it and it's not there, it's probably just that it's still on the back burner getting ready. But um, there's a lot of really amazing kid entrepreneurs out there and uh, we would like to help them. So we've started a little 
a vendor, a subsection of Theobel, where we're going to help um, kids, uh, likely under 12, but if you've got a 13-year-old, you could always get in touch too, um, where we uh, can set them up as a vendor and help them get their stuff out. So we have our first one. Um, so this is six-year-old Kale, and he makes these amazing um, crowns. Um, so these are crayons by Kale. They're $3 a pack and they come in fun designs. So I'm going to show them all to you. So we've got the Lego blocks. Um, we've got some Easter. So these would be so much fun to give to your classmates if you're doing Easter's or if you're in a day home. You could give um, a little package with maybe some candy. Um, grand grandmas to give to their grandkids. We've got some Lego men. Uh, we've got um, Darth Vader and some stormtroopers. We only have one pack of each of these, um, but I can probably get more. So if you see it sold out and you want it, just reach out and let me know. We have these fun little robots. We have some unicorns. Uh, we got one more pack of the hearts that's left. We have some, I think I didn't do the Lego men. Maybe I did. So I think that's all the sets that we have. So again, $3 each. If you have a birthday party and are looking for something to put in a loot bag, these would be really nice options. My kids have been having so much fun coloring with them. So the crayons work really well um, and uh, they're so much fun. Um, okay, so then I'm gonna show you some items that we have on the site right now um, that you could combine all of these items. I mean, you could take one of these cups and put some crowns in it um, with, um, I don't know, we've got these little post-it holders, um, which I love um, if you've got older aged kids. Um, I love gifts that aren't candy because they get enough of that. Um, so these are kind of add-ons that you could put in um, with something. So these are, they come in a bunch of different designs, but that's the post-it holder. We have these cute little bags. So again, they've got the Velcro enclosure. Um, you could fill this with um, some candy or even put um, you know, some of these little crowns in. You could, um, and then they have somewhere to store them. And the prices on all these add-ons are, are really cheap. Like these ones are $1.50. So they're, they're really easy. You could put together a nice pack under $10 to give to, to um, some people. So I wanna show you some other cards that we have. So we showed you all the cross-stitch um, ones from, H &M, or from uh, the Humble Crafter. These ones, um, we've got uh, some from H&M. So this one says Happy Easter and is a bunny. Uh, this is one of my favorites. It's a, a chick, really cute. Um, and then um, I just wanted to just show this one to give you an idea. This is a baby one. It's in our last chance. So I think it looks kind of reminiscent of spring and Easter. So if you've got a spring baby, um, this would be really cute. Maybe it's their first Easter and you want to give them something special. And these cards are blank inside. So if your gift is uh, like an excursion or needs some explanation, these are really nice because you can write in exactly what they're getting inside the card. So if you're signing them up for a class or doing zoo trips or whatever, you can put it in there. Um, so then we have uh, these DIY kits. Um, since I showed uh, this one, um, I wanted to show the other one that we have on the site right now, which would also be a lot of fun to do for Easter. Uh, it comes with everything you need to do to make 10 cards. And if your kids are really creative, um, but maybe you want a little bit more upscale than like the crayons that maybe they do, these would be a lot of fun to give them and let them glue them together. Um, and then you can use them for friends and family. So it's $25 and you get 10 pack. And again, we're running an event if you want to get creative with me and uh, be able to um, make it with, with me, which will be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. Um, so then another DIY kit. These ones are $1.50 from Peggy's Project, so I wanted to show you what they were because um, they would work really well um, as a little Easter add-on as well. Um, so she's got um, fabric scraps and um, she's given you a poster board that you can put um, a postcard on. So like this one's dogs and it comes with a whole bunch of fabric um, in different uh, you know, dog colors and shapes and add-ons and then you can um, Add, we added glitter glue and you could add googly eyes and whatever you wanted um, or just use the fabric and make something really fun. So there's some examples online of the ones that I made with my kids and we had a lot of fun. So just there's to give you ideas, she's got a whole bunch of them, but like this one's horses and baseball and we've got a whole bunch of other ones um, as well. 
So then another non-candy item that the kids love, we've got these um, paper um, windmills. Uh, this one's got crowns on it, but we've got dinosaurs and a few other uh, designs, and they are so much fun. The kids run around with them, and yeah, my kids are, yeah, they have so much fun running around outside, inside, blowing on them. It's great. Um, so then if you have somebody that, um, maybe not a child, but you're buying gifts for your mother or... Uh, or yourself. Um, these are beautiful. This one's an Infinity Scarf by Peggy Project. And I love it because it's got some sparkle in it. So, you know, the perfect transitional piece as we move into spring that it gives a little bit of warmth. Um, but it's, to me, it's not this big bulky scarf um, remis reminiscent of winter. It's kind of a little bit more like, I'm optimistic that the weather will be nice like it is right now. Um, so yeah, so we've got this one that's really pretty and there's a few other ones on there um, on the site that you can check for as well. Um, okay, so then we have uh, one more of these bundles left. So this was from a couple years ago. Um, so we just have the one color, um, but it comes with a few things. So if you wanted a ready-made gift, uh, this is one. So it comes with um, a headband. So you see we're going with the pink trends. It comes with one of our exclusive Theobel soaps, the container, which um, does seal so that you can just hand them the bag, or, or sorry, the bunny basket and everything's inside. And then it's got one of these really cute little bunnies um, from Geekdom Knits. So this whole pack you can get. And this is the only one left. So if you want one, jump on quick. Um, okay, so then um, if you've got um, some older children uh, that you wanted to buy for, we have these really cute um, earrings. Again, I like non-food items as options because they get so much sugar. So these ones have flowers. Um, and these ones are by the Ruda. And they're $5. Um, and then I want to show you these um, drink slash snack bags. Um, so again, if you're wanting to give um, your kids or neighborhood kids maybe a little goodie bag for Easter because you're not going to see them, you could easily fill one of these with, um, you know, jelly beans and give it to them. Um, and then they, they can work for drinks as well, but they work great for snacks. And they come in all different characters and you could even get if you didn't want one of the hot mugs that we showed you earlier we have lots of these ones and we do have some that have the same design so for example you could get stitch and get this little pack here and fill them both with candy or one of them with candy or just give them on their own and they have like really cute something that they can then use um, for lunch and if you did want another design we do have a couple we have this Fortnite. One that's the um, more of the coffee, hot chocolate tea one. Um, and then we have uh, some more Valentine's Day kind of um, ones as well. So we got that. Um, and then I really love to give soap because um, I like to give my husband and, you know, my mom and dad uh, something uh, for, Van or for Easter as well. So these are really wonderful bars. Um, I love using them. This is all my husband will use. Um, and they come in a whole bunch of different scents. We have two, um, I guess, lines you could say. We have uh, some bars made with our fragrance oils and some that are essential oils. So this is the lavender and it's from the essential oil line. So if you're not quite sure the difference, um, if you go into any of the soaps, they'll have a link to a blog um, that Kim, uh, Kim from Trade and Mark Soap Company wrote that distinguishes the difference between a uh, fragrance oil and an essential oil and why uh, the essential oil uh, soaps cost just a little bit more. Um, so this is the lavender, which I love. It's kind of spring and airy, but they have a whole bunch of other ones um, as well. Um, so then we do have these, um, there was one in the bunny kit, but we do sell them individually for a limited time. Uh, we've got some in the last chance area, uh, that we'll be leaving really soon. So if you like this, get it really quickly. Cause I expect within the next week or so, these ones will be off the site. Uh, we showed you the post-its. So I'll talk about some stuffed animals. Uh, last year, the Easter Bunny bought a pig for my oldest daughter and she, or sorry, my younger daughter, and she just loves it. Uh, and it was really nice because it was uh, not sugary, but she still really enjoyed it and it lasted a lot longer. Um, so we have a few. So this one's from Lindsay Ganyan. It's a monster. I think we have a couple colors left and then we have a couple colors of um, this pig and this one's from Marlene Made. So if you uh, wanted to give a little Easter Bunny a game or, well, sorry, a pig or that, you could put something like this together and do a really fun uh, little package uh, to let them know that you're thinking of them. So then again, another little 
pair of earrings. We have so many beautiful earrings. Um, these ones are um, angels. So if your Easter is more of a religious um, event, uh, I really um, love the angels. Um, yeah. I mean, Christ is risen, so uh, I really like those um, those ones, and these ones are beautiful. There's a couple different colors left um, of these ones, and they are $5, and beautiful. Um, okay, so if you are putting together a package, I love the idea of including one of these market bags from Lindsay Ganyon. Um, you could put uh, all the items, you know, inside it so that you're not using plastic bags at, or just use it to collect items if you've got like bigger items that they can run around instead of a basket. So these are just a lot of fun um, and really good for maybe some of the older children that maybe they don't want as much candy, they want stuff and they're so much fun for the beach coming up and uh, lots of ways that you can use them as gym bags and things that and I think this is the last item I have so many items spread all over my table here um, this is again another item if you didn't want to give candy um, but you wanted something that would last a little bit longer so these are hats and scarves for dolls they fit like the American girl uh, dolls uh, so if your child or your niece nephew granddaughter uh, grandson um, has one of those and you wanted to get them something um, you could get uh, get them something like this uh, and then their doll can be dressed up uh, as well um, so there are so many items as always on the website uh, I can't show you everything so hopefully you've enjoyed this taste of Easter items um, the new and the old ones and as always I am here to help so if you see something um, or you have questions about it uh, you can always email me and I will get back to you and I love to put together little parcels so if you're like I like the idea of putting something together and you know here's my budget i'd love to make some recommendations on how you could get a lot of stuff um that really showcases around a theme so yeah happy easter because it's coming soon and thank you for watching to the end of my video have a great day bye